What is printing people? Welcome back to Custom 3D. Now, today, I have a very educational video for you guys. Do you have an Ender 3 or a Creality machine with a Bowden style setup? And are you having issues with your machine? Well, I'm gonna help you out by troubleshooting your printer. So thanks, and stay tuned. So one of the most common issues I've had on my uh, Creality machines, in particular my Ender 3 and my CR10 Mini. Now they're set up very similarly, if not the same, just the sizes are different. Um, and I'll usually get a clogged nozzle, which is the most common thing. Sometimes the belts will get loose on the X and Y axis. and uh sometimes you'll have i don't know sd card issues uh but uh oh bed leveling issues is another thing uh, but these are all very simple issues that are very easy to fix and can be very frustrating the first time that you witness these issues so here we have one of my ender threes and as you can see it's fully assembled at this moment we have our our hot end assembly our extruder and our bed. So let's go over scenario one. You have inserted the filament and you just did a print and for some reason it's under extruding. Uh, it's coming out in very, very stringy and thin increments. And when you are using the menu to move the extruder, you're getting a clicking and basically nothing is coming out of the hot end. Well, it's a very simple fix. Let me show you how it's done. When disassembling the hot end assembly, I recommend you have these tools. You need this Allen key. I'm not sure the size. I think it's like one and a half millimeters, actually. You will need a quarter inch uh, ratchet. This, I know it's in millimeters usually, but this is just the one I have that works. You need some pliers and some snips. Now, uh, when you are getting this issue, I highly recommend that you remove the filament uh, from the hot end, whether or not that's just taking the spool off. But uh, first of all, you just need to take these, this blue clip off and snip the zip ties off. Now, I have upgraded the Bowden tube already, so that's why it's blue and not clear. This is a Cap Capricorn Bowden tubing. But first of all, after you do that, you want to remove these two screws right here and right here. Now, this may seem a daunt, like a daunting task the first time you do it, but I can assure you that the way that this machine is set up, it is incredibly easy to take apart and put back together. It's just these two screws to remove the fan shroud. Now, I must say, there is one thing you need to be incredibly careful about. And that is the making sure that you don't do this until about an hour and let this thing cool if you've heated it up. And to be careful about this. This is the thermistor that heats up this heat block. And it can be very easily damaged. I think it's the biggest drawback on every single Creality machine. Uh, and I wish they would fix it or come up with a better way. But if you tweak that in any way, shape, or form, you will get a uh, thermal runaway warning on your screen and your printer won't heat up. So now you need to remove the Bowden tube. Just like that. Push down on here and take it out. Now let's think about the different things that can go wrong when you are having these clogging issues. Number one is when you remove the Bowden tube, sometimes it won't be that easy. And if it is this incredibly easy and it's cool, you probably need to 
um, heat up the hot end again, grab your pliers, <laughs> and simply pull it out. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of force. Now, this is something that might damage your Bowden tube, and you'll just have to replace it. Uh, and they're all for sale on Amazon, and I'll provide a link with these Capricorn Bowden tubings, which is a necessity if you print in anything other than PLA, especially PETG, you're hitting up to 240 Celsius, and you just need that better tubing. So after you've done that, you've probably noticed that your filament has been clogged up. And the way you'll see that is that the filament will be coming through here and it'll be melted and it'll be all bunched up in a ball. And that's why you couldn't pull it out in the first place. So this is caused by the Bowden tube not being set all the way down in the uh, hot end and not butting up against the uh, nozzle. So let's see if we can get this off without it being heated up. Yeah, so you really want to make sure that when you remove the nozzle that the hot end is heated up and you can remove it. Now, uh, in this case, what I like to do is I like to push the bone tube all the way through and you'll see it. And then from there, you can push it back up and then start putting on your nozzle. Even when it's hot, just make sure that you don't touch it and you're using your ratchet. So once you do that and you are pushing it down like so, so you wanna push this down and you're, you can feel it not wanting to go any further, then you're probably pushing up against the nozzle and you're good to go. And make sure to clear out any debris after you've removed the nozzle from that area. And you can put your clip back on. Whoops. You can put your clip back on here and here. And you're all set. And hopefully that will fix the issue that you're having with the clogged tip. Now, one other thing is I have an upgraded metal extruder arm. This is something else that I recommend you getting. These are both very simple uh, you know, upgrades that are inexpensive and easy to install. So now we want to put this back on to the uh, hot end, the fan shroud. Issue one addressed. So let's say you're now printing something and you're noticing that there's a wobble like this from your extruder or your hot end assembly. Well, this is a very simple fix. You don't need to take anything apart. All you need is a wrench just like this, 10 millimeters. And you will notice that the bottom wheel here has an eccentric nut on it. And all you need to do is tighten that. And once you've done that, you will notice it's tightened and you have no more wobble. This also goes for the bed. So, as you can see here, there are two eccentric nuts right here. And if your bed is wobbling just like the extruder was, or the hot end, then you just tighten those nuts and your bed will be all set. In terms of belt tightness, this tightness right here is perfectly fine. And to tighten it if it is too loose. All you need to do is unscrew these bolts, which are T-nuts, and you can just simply pull out this and tighten it in place. Very similar uh, here on the x-axis. Uh, you just untighten these two and push it out and then tighten it in place. Another upgrade that I really uh, like is this uh, turns the extruder so when you're feeding in filament for the first time uh, this just makes it really easy to feed in and push out the hot end. So guys thanks for stopping by and I hope you learned something in today's video. If you have any other questions about 3D printing and basically the anatomy of 3D printing feel free to drop it in the comments below. Also please make sure to uh, like and subscribe and share the video to all your friends who are getting into 3D printing. And also, if you're interested in buying a Creality Ender 3 and live in the area and don't want to 
build it, I will build an under tree for you and you can pick it up right at my shop. So thanks guys. Stay tuned to the channel for more 3D printing content and I'll catch you in the next one.